I can recall in 1961 meeting my father on this street corner, Marion and Clinton Street, and hearing him tell me that he'd just been to a meeting with businessmen in the community and they were going to start a development corporation to provide opportunity to create jobs here in the community. To bring companies, uh, good companies to our area that will help people raise the level of living in Clinton County. Our goal right from the beginning was no big grandiose thing. Small steps, just proceed, build it up. And that's exactly what's happened. In the beginning, there were really three key elements as the development corporation started its business. One was the legal support, and that came in the form of Clyde Lewis, who was committed to this corporation. The other was Gus Lapham, who was the professional employed by the organization to really develop the vision. And the third was the support of the banking community. Those three pieces came together, and in many cases early on, supplying 100% financing for some initial buildings, which gave us some critical mass as we move forward. I'm sure it was very difficult in the, in the beginning, just like it is when you're buying your first house to get started in the development. And there are some wonderful folks in Plattsburgh that were bondholders or shareholders in that. And I think that the community should be truly indebted to those folks. It was a matter of dollars and cents. Lots of times we had to come up with our, out of our own pockets in order to pay rents or participate in uh, activities and we did that. Started with Gus Lapham, who was our executive director. He laid the groundwork for many of the wonderful things that we're enjoying today, but being apolitical was certainly one of his best decisions. There's never been the conflict that goes with politics. Just the fact that it was run by business people um, is and was its greatest asset. Typically, if you look in that room of directors, you're seeing uh, private industry at its best. So by having successful business people on the board helping to collectively make decisions, have some very passionate conversations at times. Things are debated and reasonably worked out. I think the independence from the political handout system has been a real strength for the Development Corporation. From Clinton Street, the Development Corporation moved to the county buildings. Ultimately, the need was felt for our own office building. That building you see behind me. That accomplishment, getting that industrial park started, I think is just started the whole ball of wax going. You know, with cooperation from Clinton County, we had industrial sites available. We had the uh, ways and means of getting buildings built and, and, and actually talking with customers. We had, we had inventory to sell. We changed how we operate. Uh, we went from a membership type operation more to a, a board with an executive committee running things good structure and it was teamwork and we all uh, pulled. And... The marriage between the county and, and the development corporation. Not many places do you see that kind of marriage where we were the marketing arm for the county for 126 acres. As the Air Industrial Park in Plattsburgh was becoming fully built out, the development corporation was looking for an additional industrial park location. At that same time, in the village and town of Champlain, they had an industrial development organization which was seeking a partner. So what you see here today is a partnership between the development corporation originally based in Plattsburgh, the village and town of Champlain, and you now have this Champlain Industrial Park. Gus did a wonderful job and Adori took over, I think she told me earlier, 15 or 16 years ago. It's a long time, and she's doing a great job. The thing that I wanted to do right at the beginning was to make people feel that when they served on our board, that their opinions were valued. One of the first things I tried to do was strengthen the committees on the board and make sure that they understood that all opinions were welcome. When the airbase closed and there was a significant amount of new industrial space uh, coming onto the market here. This really gave TDC the opportunity to really go back to its board and to capitalize on those strengths that were there. There are strengths in banking, there are strengths in, in uh, construction and engineering. And we used those strengths to really improve the core portions of our business. One is to make sure that we have the best facilities available and second, to provide customer service um, so that we were responsive in every way that we could. 
This was really an opportunity, and I think it was transformational for TDC. As the development corporation outgrew its space at Air Industrial Park, an opportunity presented itself in an industrial building at Banker Road. What you see here now is one of the offices that make up the space we occupy, which presents a professional image as we had before, but now we're not squeezed for space. We've got space to occupy all the various talents we have in the organization. So as a prospect comes in, they can picture themselves. This could be me. This could be the space that I could occupy. Now we have a number of different specialized staff members, including people who are going to be specialized in the marketing area, specialized in economic development. Uh, we have a person that can deal with our uh, physical plants uh, uh, as well as other things. So I, I think that is its biggest uh, achievement over the years. One of the things that so we've tried to do is to be a one-stop shop for economic development. By having a professional staff, by having people who know really a lot about how to get development done, how to get attraction of new industries done, and how to manage them and help them to be sustainable. The new offices, this conference room and the rest of the facilities provided an expanded opportunity to work out deals, bring people like the Department of Labor, the Workforce Investment Board, perhaps banks to the table to work with clients. We also share this space with many of our industrial clients should they need a conference room. We have to think outside the box. The world um, is changing, as we all know, very rapidly. We are in a position to do that because of our buildings that are flexible, because of our people and workforce that are retrainable, and because of our proximity to a great uh, international city, Montreal. That's what you want, is your client to grow be more productive and by necessity hire more people and pay good wages. That's been the, the mission of the Development Corporation. I see a continuation of success. Minding the business, doing it well and efficiently, and just keeping the jobs coming. We've got some great executives at TDC with a lot of experience and uh, we're going to thrive, there's no question about it. I don't think I can imagine it. You know, when we started, we met in the government center. And when we built the first building, uh, it was like, you can't spend all that money, we don't need to do that. A few progressive souls said it's important for the prestige. And now that I see what they've done here, it's even more impressive. I'm very optimistic. I think the future is very bright.